the world is full of misinformation. Fake news, if you will. You are fake news. We run into it constantly. Someone you know from high school shares a Facebook post, and the next thing that you know, we're all debating about, you know, whether or not vaccines cause autism, and whether or not anyone has actually ever been to the moon. Wait a second, did Buzz Aldrin just admit that they faked the moon landing? Everyone must know. Let's talk about something a little closer to what we do here at Real Anime Training. Someone shares some infographics on how to do a certain exercise, and the form is absolutely atrocious. We ran into this on Twitter the other day and ended up writing a short article about the exchange, which you can find in the description. This problem, much like all of the previous examples that we talked about that were not so fitness related, is caused by a variety of things. One, people share things without researching whether or not that thing is true. I get it. The share, retweet, reblog button is right there. It's right in front of you. And all you have to do is click it. You can combat this pretty easily. Google is your friend. It takes just a few seconds to double check whether or not something is complete junk. And although lots of experts disagree about various things, there are some things that are just plain garbage and should not be shared. So no, that liver detox that you just shared won't actually detox your liver from all of your alcoholism, Karen. Two, people without relevant or sufficient experience or credentials make claims based on a small amount of information. In the fitness world, this is lovingly and affectionately called bro science. There's a lot of things that are bro science that don't really hurt anyone, and heck, they might even work, but they frequently don't work for the reason that the bro scientists purport. Sorry guys, you can't convert your fat directly into muscle, and lifting heavier weights, ladies, won't make you look like a man. Squats didn't mess up your knees, bro. Poor form and failing to reasonably progress did. Stop asking to tone up. You can't spot reduce, and if I see one more di- Okay, sorry about that. Three. People share things because it supports what they already believe. This type of bias is all too common, and it's called confirmation bias. People believe things because they want them to be true, or because they lack understanding, and then they just jump on bandwagons. 15 minutes a day will get you completely shredded. You may ask how this man got huge muscles and body fat percentage, and why all personal trainers hate him. It was most definitely the product that I am currently selling, and he's certainly not a model that we use to, um, sell weight. What... What were we selling again? WHAT WERE WE SELLING AGAIN?! You see someone sharing a whole bunch of stuff suddenly about using a certain type of health product, and the next thing that you know, you're being bombarded with messages about another pyramid scheme. You know who you are. That's not to say that these products never work, it's just that the hard selling of the people who hawk these things can make them show up at every turn, and it can start to be a little difficult to tell what's marketing and what's fact. Sometimes these people mean well and genuinely want to help, but that's not always the case. And it's not just the multi-level marketing guys who are guilty of this. Everyone from cereals to pre-workouts are guilty of this over-the-top marketing. And it's the big guys that you got to watch out for because those are the ones that are most likely aware that what they're selling is crap. There's a lot of dumb out there, guys. And everyone is guilty of spreading it around every now and again. But if you do a little research and you wait just a little bit before hitting that share button, maybe we can have just a little less dumb in the world. Just like a little bit.